Hey everybody and welcome to episode 153, I believe, in the Daily Karate. I am Adam Laring, and today we're going to be covering the weather module. Yes, the weather. Um, simple module, again, but kind of a nice little have if you want to add a little bit of information to your user, or you could obviously just put it on the back end of your site and keep it for yourself to know what's uh, going on around you. Um, before we get started, uh, make sure to again head over to CodeKarate.com. Um, check out all the videos there, all the content. Also, when you're there, make sure to sign up on the Code Karate newsletter. We do send out occasional emails and information about um, what's happening in Drupal and Code Karate related stuff. Also, one important thing to note is we are releasing an ebook soon, um, counting the days down. So make sure when you sign up for the newsletter to check the box to receive the free ebook from Code Karate. Also, make sure to follow myself on Twitter and Shane Thomas. You can follow myself at Adam Laring. You can follow Shane Thomas at SMThomas3. Uh, appreciate either of those being followed. All right, let's get to the module. So the module, like I said, we're gonna work on is the weather module. Uh, pretty simple module. There are a couple different versions that you can use as far as modules for Drupal are concerned, but we are gonna stick with the weather. It's by far the most popular. Uh, one thing to note is there's actually a lot of integrations that work with the weather module. You can see them highlighted here. Um, in this first video, I'm just going to do the basic out-of-the-box weather module. But in the follow-up series, I'm going to cover uh, a few other different integrations that you can use well um, using the weather module. So take a look at those and look forward to those in the future. Um, other kind of cool highlights about the weather module before we get to downloading it. Uh, di displays the current day as well as the next day's forecast and then you can even go as further as the seven day forecast so you get a wide variety there um, works in both um, Celsius and Fahrenheit and other temperature uh, uh, whatever what am I looking for here temperature denominations uh, what else can you, you it works with blocks pretty well so you can put it wherever you want on your site again that works putting on your front end or your back end of your site or different pages uh, works with all those different rules okay so let's get started so we hop over to our code karate site and we need, need to turn on the module so we can search for the module let's enable it Once we have it enabled, let's go over to the configure page here. And pretty simple. So the first thing you need to do is you need to add a display for the weather to um, work. So obviously you're going to select your location in this display as well. So we'll click add display. And here's where you can set different um, parameters and different uh, displays for the weather module. Um, whether, what temperature you want, we're going to do uh, Fahrenheit. Because we are in sunny Sioux Falls, South Dakota here. And we use Fahrenheit. Um, wind speed, we're going to do miles per hour, pressure, I'm not actually sure what the standard is, I think KPA, uh, distance, we're going to do miles instead of kilometers, and then there's some other check boxes here, obviously show sunrise and sunset, this is all up to you and what you want to display to either yourself or the user, um, I'm going to go ahead and check all these, I want to know all of them, wind chill, uh, wind directions, and stuff like that, so we're going to save it. Once you have it saved here, it'll give it a default name, so System Wide Display 1, and then you just need to add to your location. Um, pretty much any location you can think of is in here. Um, we're going to pick United States. Um, Auto completes down and gives you only places located in the United States. I'm going to pick Sioux Falls, South Dakota here, right there. And then the display name, which will show up to the user side. We're going to use Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Go ahead and save. And there seems to be a slight bug when you save it the first time. It doesn't seem to save the name. So you have to, I don't know, I had to go in and do it again. And once you save it the second time, it seems to stick. So just make sure you look at that after you save it the first time and see if it did catch. I don't know. I don't know why. We should submit a bug. There might be a bug in the queue as well. Um, but anyway, once you get it saved, go ahead and make sure it's saved. And then that automatically creates the block for you. So if you head over to the blocks page on Drupal, 
you'll see that it's down here there's a block for system weather display one and you also notice that there are four other different blocks you can drop in um, these we'll go cover in some further videos but um, smart IP which is kind of cool it'll actually grab the weather of, of the user's IP address so it'll give the users coming from us in Colorado for example it'll give the weather there um, Geofield location similar types to that but we'll highlight those in future videos let's just drop this this video or this uh, block in um, let's do it on our second sidebar actually we'll save that you'll be able to see it sitting in there so when we go to our home page it reloads you'll see it's right there so you can see obviously today in South Dakota we have 60 degrees Fahrenheit cloudy which is about right and tomorrow we're looking at 69 degrees and partly cloudy if you click on the name itself it will give you uh, a breakdown of the forecast. I believe it goes out seven, or actually up to 11 days. I was wrong on that, but I think it shows you here. So you can get a decent look at what's going to be happening down the road. Um, I also noticed that due to the checkboxes I checked, um, it comes in Fahrenheit. Here's our depth or our wind speeds, pressures, all that stuff. The weather module also works really well with views, which I will highlight in an additional video. So we can tell it which we want, what do we want to display. We don't have to display all these fields if we didn't want to. And we can use that to integrate with other content types as well. So that is the weather module, guys. Uh, pretty simple, uh, not too uh, complicated at all, but a nice little have if you want to add a little bit more um, content to your site as well as provide your users with a little bit more information. All right, so again, uh, make sure to uh, follow us at Adam Laring or at SMThomas3 on Twitter. And also just head over to Code Karate, check it out. Um, let us know your thoughts. Um, if you have any videos you want to see or modules you want us to review, um, shoot them our way. We'd be happy to take a look and get them reviewed. All right, guys, until next time. Thanks.